At some point in time, people will look back and remember some of the strange things we're eating now in this period of history. A majority of our food is chock full of chemicals, antibiotics, pesticides, artificial flavors, and sugar. But back when things were less complicated, there was still some interesting stuff that was popular. Would you be willing to try a chocolate bar with radium or arsenic lace candy? Probably not. Today we're going to take a look at strange and toxic things people used to eat. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. Now make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. Number 14. Snake Oil Snake oil is often used as a reference for some type of cure-all product which really can't do all it says it can do. But nonetheless, people buy it. During the 19th century in the United States, many mysterious elixirs were coming out on the market that became increasingly profitable to businessmen. As more and more Chinese immigrants came to the US, America would be able to use what they learned from the Chinese traditional medicine and try to sell it to the masses. One of those things was snake oil, which traditionally was used in China as a pain relieving ointment or as a beverage. Eventually, more and more of these elixirs would end up containing addictive substances to make the consumer come back for more. People like Clark Stanley would get exposed as a fraud too. Number 13. Stellar Sea Cow this large, pudgy creature was found by George Wilhelm Steller while navigating the Bering Sea in 1741. This was a massive creature weighing over a ton and can grow up to 30 feet long. It looked similar to a manatee but was much slower. Hunters found out that the oil was very viable for making candles and the meat was extremely delicious. Some had noted that the meat tasted like corned beef but was redder, tougher, and needed to be cooked longer. Due to the higher amounts of salt naturally found in its flesh, it could stay fresh for long periods of time. Since its short stubby arms proved no purpose and its chubby form made it difficult to flee, it was easily hunted. So the combination of it tasting good and its lack of speed led to its downfall. It's nothing it could control, it was just born delicious. Someone needs to clone one of these and make it into a sandwich at Popeyes. Number 12. Muktuk Whale was once a fairly common thing for people to eat before everybody wanted to save them all. The meat can provide a nutrient-rich meal to people who live in harsh conditions and don't have an Arby's on their block. Eating the blubber can be a good source of vitamin C, which can prevent scurvy for sailors who've been out at sea for too long. You would imagine that they cook it first though, right? Wrong. Muktuk is a traditional Inuit meal which consists of blubber from the bowhead whale but can also come from the beluga or the narwhal. People have described the taste as a little bit nutty but not bad nonetheless. In modern times, it can be deep fried and then dipped into soy sauce. Although it might taste good, eating the skin might be a little bit risky due to a high concentration of mercury. Number 11. Borax Food Preservative Getting caviar is kind of strange to begin with, but borax is used in quite a few different impressive ways and can be used as a natural preservative that most people don't realize. If you live in the US, you don't have to worry about it too much. However, caviar preserved with borax can have risky side effects. Back in the days of gathering and preserving caviar near the Caspian Sea, large quantities of fish eggs were stored underground on the beach which was rich in borax. It only helped it taste a little bit better, but with the consequences of making it slightly toxic. The US uses caviar preserved in salt, so it tends to have a saltier taste to it than the kind preserved in borax. Number 10. Coca-Cola Treatment Coca-Cola was invented in 1886 by John Pemberton, which was the first supposed brain tonic to help with concentration or focusing on work. He took certain ingredients from the cola nut as a source of caffeine, another extremely controversial ingredient that wouldn't be legal today. Coca-Cola to this day still helps to give people the jolt of energy but with caffeine instead of cocaine. This ingredient in particular was often used with toothaches, headaches, nervousness, throat troubles, etc. But no one had any idea how truly addictive it was. Number 9. Roasted Heron One of the first cookbooks ever created in England in the 1390s featured many birds, but among them was the heron. No one knows exactly who wrote the cookbook, but one of the recipes includes heron wrapped in bacon and then put in the oven. What makes this a little bit weird is that herons aren't necessarily known for being the meatiest bird out there. It appeared to be a favorite among royalty, and during a feast, they would need a lot of these birds. Number 8. Tapeworms People have been known to purposely ingest eggs of tapeworms to lose weight. These would come in the form of a pill, and they believed that the tapeworms would just eat off all the fat. Although taking them may cause a little bit of weight loss, it also causes severe malnutrition and horrible stomach aches. Probably just better to stay overweight than taking one of these. These parasites can grow up to be 2 meters long, and sometimes have to be surgically removed. They can also be found in cows and can affect humans unintentionally by eating undercooked beef or even pork products. 
If you get the urge to buy the eggs online, it's highly recommended that you back out right away and start losing weight the normal way. Number 7. The Great Uck Some animals need to eat other animals in order to survive. It's just part of the food chain. Some animals weren't able to evolve in a way to escape extinction. This seems to be the case for the Great Uck. Also known as the original penguin, many civilizations feasted on this animal and valued it as a reliable food source. Neanderthals 100,000 years ago enjoyed eating it as well, and ock bones were found near caveman settlements. Even the eggs were extremely valuable. The last known two specimens were found on Iceland and was nursing an egg. It was reportedly strangled in order to taxidermy it. Simply unbelievable. Number 6. Ambergris Who knew whale vomit could smell so good and cost so much? We understand that whales are an endangered species and all, but you have to wonder who the heck discovered all the magical properties of ambergris. Also described as floating gold, ambergris is extremely hard to find and often floats around for a few years before someone finds it. It also smells awful upon discovery. It must be aged for a long period of time in order to get the sweet, earthy smell that customers are looking for. A large amount tends to come from tropical countries like the Bahamas, China, Japan, Madagascar, and other oceanic countries across the globe. The wax-like substance is basically a slurry of digestive liquids mixed with whatever the whale was eating. You'd be lucky if you can come across some and some fortunate people have stumbled upon a fortune of this stuff. You might remember the scene where Hannibal Lecter sends a letter while using ambergris lotion which would hopefully lead to his discovery in Italy. Number 5. Eating Mummy The popularity of mummies in Egyptology was at an all-time high in the 1870s. Many people believe that eating crushed up mummies was some kind of cure for ailments, especially for arthritis. Although not everyone would like to admit it, there were a large number of cannibals in Europe due to this practice. This man here was hoping to make a quick buck by selling a mummy. Many mummies were destroyed throughout history, and who knows which important mummies of pharaohs were eaten. This took place as far back as the 1500s too. Number 4. Bog Butter how would you like to spread your toast with a little bit of bog butter? 22 pounds of this stuff was discovered in Ireland dating back to 2,000 years ago. It was actually buried in a bog and apparently is still edible. This prehistoric dairy butter manages to stay well preserved due to the cold temperatures of Northern Ireland and low oxygen in the bog. It allegedly kind of smelled like cheese. Some claim that this would have been an offering to the gods in order to keep the area safe from natural disasters. What gods wouldn't appreciate a huge hunk of butter? This was later carbon dated and transported to a natural history museum where they could preserve it. Butter often spoiled quickly in ancient times and the best way to keep it edible was to bury it underground. Other bog butter discoveries were found encased in wood or an animal hide. Number 3. Radioactive Energy Drinks Although your Red Bull might not be radioactive, energy drinks have been suspects since the 1920s. This was when Radathor hit the shelves. Modern energy drinks don't always contain radioactive energy. This goes to show you how easy it is to sell people things if they think it'll give them an energy boost. Back in the day, this was a patented medication which consisted of distilled water and one microcurie of radium. This stuff was manufactured for 10 years in the city of East Orange, New Jersey. The owner of the company was William J. A. Bailey, who was a Harvard medical dropout who claimed it was a cure for the living dead. He also described it as perpetual sunlight. A man named Eben Byers drank so much of this stuff that he actually expired from radiation poisoning in 1932. His grave was eventually exhumed and they noticed his remains were extremely radioactive. Number 2. A Radioactive Chocolate Bar Radioactive energy drinks were the only weird radioactive thing people were consuming back then. Who needs peanuts or caramel in their chocolate bar when you can fill it up with radioactive substances instead? It was sold from the German company of Burke and Braun from 1931 to 1936. People also thought it had rejuvenating qualities to it. Could that just be a side effect from radiation poisoning? And number 1. Arsenic Lace Candy Arsenic is a deadly metal that can build up in your system over time, and for a while, it was actually used in candy. People would also use it to make their skin more pale, but it was also found in candy in a few occasions. Accidental poisonings have been known to take place, such as the 1858 Bradford Sweet Poisoning Incident. 21 people were seriously affected from eating arsenic lace candy. Each candy had twice a lethal dose of arsenic and people were lucky if they still survived. Weaponized versions of arsenic gas reused during WW1 were dumped into the Gulf of Mexico for disposal. Arsenic was also used again as a herbicidal agent in the Vietnam War in order to reduce foliage used as cover. 
So which one did you think was the most interesting? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.